Oh, shit. Woo, boom. Yeah, that's the last one. I had the right hand. Yeah, six that. Six that. Sip her cross. Sip her cross. Sip her cross. Sip her cross and then roll. The famed boxer, who was renowned for his unwavering determination and ferocious temperament, was apparently losing control during a recent training session when he got into a heated, nearly physical fight with his coach. As things became more tense, Tyson was in the middle of an intense training program. His annoyance seemed to explode, almost resulting in a fight with his coach. Even though the issue was ultimately handled, fans and analysts are worried about Tyson's health as he prepares for his upcoming showdown with Jake Paul. The event raises the possibility that the former heavyweight champion, who is renowned for his viciousness and explosive strength in the ring, is feeling the strain of training. With his ferocity frequently seeping into both his personal life and training sessions, Tyson has always been a complex character. But Tyson has been preparing for his comeback to the ring with a laser-like focus and a whip. <laughs> Bill to reclaim his previous glory. I had my right hand in it. Tyson is reminded of his early training camp experiences, which were often marred by similar circumstances by the near fight with his coach. His pure devotion has been a huge factor in his success, but it has also been a double-edged sword, leading to unstable times that have periodically threatened to terminate his career. This most recent episode accentuates the challenges Tyson faces in attempting to make a comeback at the age of 58. As he continues his preparations, the question is whether Tyson can control his aggression and rage or if these outbursts will become a recurring issue. The incident has undoubtedly added an extra layer of intrigue to Mike Tyson's comeback, with fans eager to see how he will perform in the ring after such a dramatic moment in training. The combat sports community is growing more and more concerned that stepping into the ring against eh, Today was the day, you know? Play with fire, sometimes have The problem child this November could carry significant risks for the legendary boxer. Jake Paul told TMZ Sports earlier this week that there are no current plans for a backup fighter if Tyson fails to make the ring walk again, leaving everyone except Paul himself without a backup plan. Despite assurances from Paul Tyson and the promoters, he stated, I don't have concerns and that he's doing great, super healthy behind the scenes, and feeling great is what they are focusing on right now. A pro fight means war, and I don't take it lightly you can get seriously- There you go, we'll be after the last month, beautiful. <laughs> Hurt or injured in there. So if you're not there to go to war, then you should just get out numerous combat sports experts, like UFC pundit Joe Rogan, contend that a boxing battle has no business taking place. He said this to UFC welterweight champion Bal Muhammad during the most recent Junior podcast episode. Rogan stated, I wish it wasn't a thing where a 58-year-old guy was going to fight. Down that pipe. See that man right there controlling the camera? This guy right here. Yeah, tell, right down that pipe. Tell any tell, tell people who are out there saying we think Mike's too old for this fight. Tell, tell them what you think about that. If you think I'm too old for this fight, you need to come tell me in my faith. Whoa. You and won't. a 28-year-old that said, I fully support his desire to do it. What is he going to live forever? No, he's going to wait to be. He wants one more shot at it. Maybe he wants one more shot at it. Maybe his body can do one more fight. Nevertheless, Rogan conceded that the world's most renowned boxing champion never stops inspiring admirers with his talent on the training MS. He stated, it's like I can look good on the MS, especially if you're watching 30 second clips, what you want to see is him sparring or hitting the bag for multiple rounds. I want to watch how your feet move when you throw combinations to see if you're unbalanced. Though worries about Tyson's health persisted, the welterweight champion and the veteran pundit both declared that they were ready to see the drama play out on November 15th. Then Rogan said, but he's 58. I adore that man. Now, you know, Floyd's a great fighter, don't get me wrong. Yeah. You know, he had 50 fights and he said, listen, Sugar Ray Robinson had 47 fights. He lost one, then he had 78 fights. 
Then he had a 78 fight winning streak. Yeah, but you even even can you more, think he even, had 47 lost one to 78 winning streak. But even God more, damn. but even more like modern than that. Knockouts. Look at Julio Cesar Chavez. Ooh. He was 80, 84 and 0, right? He was 89, 90 89, and 0. 89, 89 and 0. Wow. So it's Don't not, tell me about you the greatest fight with 50 and 0, nigga. You're great, no nah, doubt about it, nigga. Nah, 50 and 0. Nah, Chavez nah. had 90. Yeah. He fight yeah. four, he fight like what, eight times a year. Yeah, it's 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 more get to whoever that. fought him. Get no, whoever's in the ranking. Well, I think I think it's all subjective. Picking or whoever you are, come on. I, I think there are more <laughs> metrics and more measurements that have. Yeah. To I adore him to no end. How much of him is left now is the question. When I was 21, 58 was not 58. Especially if they're not testing it, it's a different 58. All those queries, mm. along with the quantity of gas left in his tank, will convince me to buy the PVP. If he loses consciousness. I shall be inconsolable. Despite the early delays being attributed to ulcer problems, Mike Tyson has been notably active in the aftermath. The conventional opinion is that this conflict is awful. According to conventional wisdom, there is a 28-year-old who is young, athletic, bold, and has really quick knockout power. Although age plays a significant role, Tyson has been making appearances at various events and posting updates from his training sessions indicating he is in top shape for the much-awaited fight in November. In order to equalize the playing field with a challenger who is 30 years his junior, Tyson has requested specific modifications. What does it mean um, when fighting gets you, gets you erect? What does that mean? It's a good question. It means you're getting excited. Yeah. So that that's going through your mind right now. Well, that's how I get when I was a kid, and I, you know, sometimes this, I get the twinkle. Shorter rounds will be used in the fight in an effort to motivate both boxers to improve. This move is intended to stop Paul from taking a passive early stance in an attempt to tire out the veteran before engaging in serious fighting. However, Mike Tyson appears confident in his ability to win the fight, and only time will tell how his stamina holds up. Professional boxing is an intense sport. Winning is proof of his storied career as one of the greatest boxers of all time, but whether or not his illustrious past can withstand Jake Paul's challenge is the main worry among all of us. There's suspense as we wait to see how this potential fight plays out and whether it actually happens, even though some people, like actor Russell Crowe, might want to keep in the dark. Jake Paul said that Mike Tyson is big, strong, meaty, and thick, therefore he didn't think he would knock him out. Mike has amazing punching power. So I do need to be careful in the early days. Jake, obviously, uh, Mike is one of the biggest hitters that the heavyweight division has ever seen. Um, I just want to know, when you're thinking about his power, he looks very ferocious on Instagram, especially still. Um, do you feel like you'll be able to take Mike Tyson's power at this stage? I know I will be able to. I'm, I'm a natural born heavyweight. <laughs> this is... This is, this is what I was born to do, is to move up into this weight class, and I'm gonna show Mike who has the more power, because he's underestimating me, I think everyone else is underestimating me, and I believe that I hit harder. I know it's gonna be tough, I know I'm gonna have to fight through adversity, I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm, I'm scared, don't get me wrong, but it's not about the fear stopping me, it's about going into it even though I am scared, and that's what true bravery is. Mike, can, can he take the power, Mike? Excuse me? Can Jake take your power? We're gonna see, huh? It's strange that Francis Inanu genuinely said he thought Mike was going to knock me out. Iron Paul hasn't faced a more accomplished fighter than Tyson, Mike's opponent. This former heavyweight champion, who is 58 years old, has 44 knockout victories under his record and is still capable of finishing an opponent with a single well-placed strike. There will be a record-breaking age disparity between Tyson and Paul who have a 31-year age difference that was previously the biggest in a sanctioned battle. In addition to appearing slower and less effective against a younger opponent, Tyson's renowned knockout power appears to have diminished, despite the fact that his training videos give some hope. It makes understandable that the expected bow in combat between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has drawn criticism. One of those voices was Eddie Hearn, who stated that Tyson shouldn't step into the ring in November during the promotion of Saturday's Super middleweight fight between Diego Pacho and Makai Selly. What the hell are we doing? I'm fortunate enough to own a business where we don't need to do that, and I never will. Anyone who believes Tyson should be in the ring right now is either an idiot from 1986 or doesn't have his best interests at heart. He added. In 2020, Mike Tyson made a comeback to the ring following his first heavyweight championship victory, sparring with longtime opponent Roy Jones Jr. More than 15 years after Tyson first hung up his gloves, 
The exhibition ended in a split draw and marked a measured return for the once dominant Iron Mike. The competition, which was supposed to take place on July 20th, was rescheduled after the 58-year-old had an ulcer while flying from Miami to Los Angeles. Mike Tyson left the boxing business almost 20 years ago, according to Hearn. I don't know how long that lasted, but do you really think a man who was shot to...